So today guys, I have decided to do a drawing of two little French Bulldogs, which is on an account I follow called Howling Harlow. I thought this picture was just too cute not to draw because of the way their heads are tilted and their little cute angled faces. So that is what we are going to draw today. So what I've done is I've basically gridded up my page with four equal quadrants and I've done the same on the image if you saw that before. Just a line basically dividing it into four pieces. This just helps me to scale out the drawing. It's not, it's not specific, like if you wanted to do a proper grid, you know, you could go to the efforts of doing all the grid lines and then really map it out um, and sketch away. So come down roughly halfway is where the head is. I'm going to go to like roughly maybe three quarters so about there is the edge of the little guy's head. I say little guy, it's actually a little girl. <laughs> Harlow is a girl and if you look at the center of the picture the nose is pretty much bang in the middle. So I'm just gonna gently wrap that in there. So I pretty much do most of this by eye. Um, there's plenty of errors as I go. I do use my eraser. And then if I'm ever worried about any scale issues or something doesn't look right, that's when I'll go back to kind of measuring with my fingers on the, you know, on the um, visual and just try to work out what I've drawn too big or too small. All right. So I found that this was a little bit too low down, so I'm just bringing it up a bit. And the idea is to do this light. I always have trouble drawing light lines. I tend to want to go straight in and give myself more to see straight away. And if I have to do a lot of erasing, that's where you get a problem. Oh my god, all these rolls are so cute. I've never had a roly-poly dog. I certainly would like to have one in the future. They've just got the cutest little mushes. They're all smushy. So far, I think he's looking all right. I don't know why I want to keep calling this a he. I know it's a girl. She. She's a girl. She's a beautiful girl. Now for the ears, which with artistic license, can make slightly bigger because they are very cute parts that you can accentuate on a French Bulldog for sure but to be honest I don't need to accentuate them that much because that is pretty accurate I'd say. Now I'm kind of noticing that the the angles of the dog's heads are incredibly so I'm going to basically follow like an imaginary line there. <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. I can't get over it. I've already done the first layer and now I'm going back in with another layer to try and darken some of the areas up but I'm quite sure that I'm going to use pencils and maybe pen over the top all right now I wanted to add something a little bit fun on there um, bandana and the bow tie so I thought donuts would be cool because they're very I don't know, they seem to always go together with French Bulldogs and Donuts. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly sketch them in on here. And I'm using a Color Raise pencil to do that. Because I didn't want the, because I'm going to do watercolor on top, but I didn't want the grey pencil to come through. But it's fine if a blue one comes through, because that's, it'll add to the quirky flavour. I'm trying to get the pattern to look like it's folding over with its folds in the bandana. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll get it well. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to 
go in with a nice bright colour for the background of the bandanas and bow ties. Okay, they are girls so they can have pink. Okay, so I'm going in with a light coat of a pinky red colour. When it dries it should be quite light. And then the donuts will pop out on top because they'll be coloured in brightly. And then I'm choosing really bold colours for the donuts because I want them to stand out. Okay, now I'm going to put in some background and then I'll go ahead once it's all dry to do the detail. So some background. What I'm going to do is start with wetting the area that I like to put in some colour, some shading. In this case down here it's going to be a bit of shading and then it will spread to where it wants to go. I mean I like to get it right in there against the line so that you don't get a white line around the picture. Okay on to the final stage of the artwork. I'm using Prismacolor pencils and adding much needed definition to the doggies' faces. And a little bit on the bodies as well. For more colour pencil drawings, feel free to check out my other videos, because I use them a lot on the channel. I post a new art video every week, so if you're new here, please subscribe by clicking the button below. Also, if you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button to help me out, or leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And here is the final piece. Big thanks to Howling Harlow for this beautiful pooch photo, and thank you for watching. See you guys next week.